Bitcoin is building steam into its next cycle, and the only thing that can take it down is a complete tumble in the mainstream markets. I'm talking about stock market doomsday, which is something that everyone and their grandma has been predicting is coming. What with the new news about China's economy slowing, a potential recession looming, and stocks just continue climbing, something's got to give, right? And there has to be this massive stock crash, right? Well, guess what? Some new data brought in by my good friend in front of the channel, Eric Crown suggests that stocks may just see a massive rally. Well, if history is any guide, they absolutely will. And they'll not only see a rally, but they'll make new all-time highs within the next 12 months, which means that the one, in my opinion, biggest threat to the market structure of Bitcoin and crypto could very well not be a threat at all, but actually a major support for the crypto markets. I'm going to tell you exactly what this means and how I'm going to play this to make a serious chunk of change if this plays out. As always, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe because we're going back to bull market LEO trades, which means we're going hard and we're going to try to find the best information to make some money, stay safe, and enjoy this magical world of crypto land. So what are you doing? Obliterate that like button and let's jump in. All right, Bitcoin down 12% on the week, and this is not good price action. Historically, this is exactly what happens to Bitcoin in August and September. Just look at this chart. It's the only two months that historically always have a negative price action correlation for Bitcoin. But let's look even deeper, not just at the monthly correlations, but cyclical correlations. And no, we're not talking about the four year crypto cycle. You see on this chart, what you see are actually every August in the year before the presidential election. And this is courtesy of Crown's Crypto Cave. Make sure to go follow Crown. He is an absolute killer and has been doing amazing work. You see these blue lines actually represent each August before the presidential election. Well, guess what? Each August, the year before the presidential election. So if the election is in 2024, we're talking 2023, 2020, we're talking 2019 and so on. It actually just so happens to line up pretty neatly with the year before the Bitcoin halving as well. That's why these two events are actually fairly really interesting to track. Now, coupling this with another piece of data, Crown actually uses an oscillator called the McClellan Oscillator, which actually tracks the strength of all major indexes. And you can see these major red points, these big red spikes at the bottom that get in the extreme territory. Those actually signal major bounces. So you have the year of August before the election, and you have the McClellan indicator, which essentially takes in the strength of all major stock indexes. And now typically putting these together, you can see a bounce coming. Well, it's actually been the case that within one year of August before the year of the elections, meaning mostly in the year leading right up to those elections, you see a major stock market rally and new all-time highs. And that's been true of every cycle going back to the 2008 election. So is this time different? Are we going to defy history? Because realize there's one logical thing here, which is obvious to think about. Politicians want to pump the markets coming into the year of the election. And there's a second technical indicator, which effectively expresses the strength of indexes with this McClellan oscillator. So you have a technical factor and a fundamental factor coming together to spell out that the stock markets could start experiencing some tremendous upside and it should last well into the election cycle here, if not extend past the election itself. And isn't it funny how that lines up with the Bitcoin four year cycle here just so perfectly? And in my opinion, the mainstream market dumping like crazy is the main threat to the Bitcoin market structure right now, which means that if mainstream markets don't actually dump, but proceed to pump and limit lift through the election, well, that would take away one of the biggest threats to the current market structure. And in fact, would make me very, very excited about what crypto could do as we create the next fundamental supply shock in Bitcoin with the next happening. So how am I playing this? Well, I'm actually using this moment not just to get a little more exposure to Bitcoin and Ethereum. I am doing that, but I'm also using it as a chance to start scaling into altcoins that have performed extremely strong over this last cycle. Now, I want to be very careful here because I don't want to be seen as pushing too many people towards specific altcoins. But I will say I want to encourage you to start doing this research. There are some charts that look phenomenal and those I'm going to show you a tool right now that's actually really easy to start seeing them pop off the page at you. So smash the like button if you're excited to learn about this new tool. But beyond this tool that you can use to identify super strong altcoins, the new ones that are having success, I want to say that I feel like the dead narratives that I see coming back with a vengeance, specifically gaming. You guys know I'm a gaming nut. I'm a gaming nerd. And I believe in that sector. I'm going to be using this time to start scooping up gaming tokens because I believe the narrative is probably about at its bottom. I think that it almost cannot go lower. I know famous last words, but that's genuinely how I feel about gaming right now is that it's really so bottom 
bottomed out. Those coins have not had any hype yet. And I think that the chance to get in at stuff that has a real good shot and multiplying is there. That's why I'm going to be scooping up a bunch of gaming tokens over the next few weeks during this dip, maybe even the next few months, depending on how it lasts. Leave your favorite coins in the comment section below. I think this is a time that you can start accumulating some of the tokens that have shown strong price performance and might very well be hot topics for the next cycle. Now, before I go any further, I want to mention a service that I've been using and a sponsor and partner of the channel, NordVPN. But this isn't your average NordVPN sponsorship that you've heard about. No, we're talking about something called threat protection. And this means a lot to me because I recently had my Twitter compromised through a major data leak. Threat protection is an absolutely must have for anyone in crypto in 2023. By using crypto, you are having your name added to a list of crypto users just by browsing around the internet. If you are not using a VPN, then you are literally exposing your data and vulnerable to all kinds of data leaks. That stuff is absolutely critical to protect against. This product, NordVPN with threat protection is just $3. You can add it to your NordVPN subscription and it's something I use right now and have been using, and I believe it's absolutely critical that you guys all do it yourself. I'm very, very passionate about protecting data, especially after what happened to me. It was mentally, emotionally, and physically draining, and so I really need you all to take your data seriously. The best part about NordVPN's threat protection service and their VPN is that it's a money-back guarantee. 30 days, you can just refund this stuff. Their data is encrypted. In my opinion, it is a no-brainer to use this product. I'll also mention that I'm taking on sponsors like Nord, which in my opinion are absolutely must-have products that I use myself. I'm going to use these sponsorships to help build out the best team possible to bring this channel the absolute best information possible. Again, I'm just one person. I make all this stuff myself. Almost every other channel you see on crypto YouTube is actually an army, a huge team. And so coming into the news cycle, I want to beef up on the Elio Trades team and do this at the elite level. And to do that, we need sponsors like Nord. So you guys signing up on this link, which gets you a massive discount on the Nord VPN service and helps the channel out a lot. Well, that is absolutely critical to the next phase. So thank you all so much for helping out and a huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to a really good tool. This tool was created by Crypto Banter. It's called the Banter Bubbles. And I want to be clear here. If you've been on crypto Twitter or if you follow this industry closely, none of these names will be a shock to you because these have all been talked about a lot on crypto Twitter. I'm not the first person talking about any of these. But one thing I think is really easy is you go to the Banter Bubbles here and you go ahead and you set it over to the year. And this gives you the highest performing tokens over the last Last year. And you can also say top 100, top 200, whatever you want to see, top 300. And what you'll see is these are the tokens that have had the most price performance over the last one year. And you can see obviously some names jumping out at you. And I would highly encourage you to start getting to know these huge green bubbles and starting to ask yourself, what exactly have these done? Now, I'm going to do a thread and some analysis on the strongest performing alts that have happened already, trying to get us into the mindset of the market coming into the new cycle. What is the market valuing? What does the market see as strong? What does the market want to see? And of course, this doesn't mean that these are the only narratives. Of course, early cycle narratives, mid cycle narratives, and late cycle narratives, they're all very different. And as you know, I'm not going to stop being bullish on gaming. It's going to have its moment. And very well, you might see that there are some gaming tokens that have performed really, really well. But I encourage you, go check out Banter Bubbles. What's actually cool about it too, is you can have this discussion section here. So it actually, as you click on bubbles, you can see people discussing them. I'm sure if you guys have seen Crypto Banter, you've seen this. But go through, see the year, then switch to the monthly. Okay, what's popping on the monthly? Oh, is it the same things popping on the yearly? Let's go ahead and look at these charts. Let's go ahead and see the top 200. Let's see if there's any tokens in here that might look very interesting. See what they've done on the year. See what they've done on the month. This is your key visually to just see strong performing charts pop out at you. And that is your first indicator that this chart is worth investigating. Again, I'm not telling you exactly what I'm buying here, but I'm giving you cookie crumbs so that you can get ahead and start getting into the mindset of the market. If you guys are excited about this new skill that we've all learned together, give yourself a high five and make sure to smash that like button as always i hope you enjoyed this we're gonna absolutely crush this cycle together and i hope this tool the banter bubbles again shout out to crypto banter for creating it is going to help you find the amazing alts that you should be scaling into before the rest of the market explodes in the next cycle as always i'm elio trades i'm excited for this dip excited to collect these coins if you enjoyed this video make sure to click on this one it's even better than the video you just watched and i'll see you very soon on the next episode